How's it going, TG and XP? How are you guys all doing today? My name is Jacob, aka The Tough Trouble, and what game you guys are seeing here today is Gotham City Impostors. You know, once again, bringing some variety to TG and XP, and I thought you know, it'd be pretty cool to play this game, considering it is one of my favorite games of all time. But sadly, this will probably be the last footage you'll ever see of Gotham City Impostors from me. And I'm going to tell you why. Games for Windows Live can suck my toughy. And it can suck it because they, it is the it is the crappiest thing I've ever seen, right? So when I buy a game from Steam, I expect it to run off Steam. And I have like laid so much faith into Steam. I believe Steam is like the best thing for PC gamers. Steam is like Xbox Live or PSN. It just works, right? It literally just works. No problems with Steam ever in my life. So when I'm like, okay, Batman City... Batman, sorry, Batman City. Gotham City Imposters is fifteen dollars on Steam. I've been waiting a long time for this game. I've been really excited for it, and I've been like, I was like waiting up to o'clock at midnight to get it. I got it. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing! Downloaded it, and then when I opened the game up, it said, "Please sign into Games Windows Live." And I thought, oh, here we go, Games Windows Live time. So I signed in my uh, Xbox Live profile that I had before I moved to PC, and it downloaded the profile, all this stuff, updated, and it worked really well. I'm like, wow, they have really changed a lot since I, uh, you know, last seen it, but. Something happened. The next day that I went to go play this game, it said, it cannot download profile, so on and so forth, cannot sign into uh, Xbox Live, error code, blah, 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 cannot, not Xbox Live, sorry, Games Windows Live, error code, la, da, 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 cannot connect, la, da, da, and I thought, okay, so after like a whole day of researching, uh, I came to the conclusion that it was like a router issue, an ISP issue, so then port forwarded a whole bunch of stuff, enabled universal plug and play, did some other things. Uh, trust me, I have tried everything before you guys try and say, have you done this, have you done this, have you done that? I have tried everything. So then I got this, I thought, okay, maybe it's fixed, and it said downloading profile, and then it stopped halfway, and it said an update is required to play the game, for game, like you have to update games Windows Live, so I thought, okay then, and then it wouldn't update, it said cannot connect to uh, Xbox Live, uh, Xbox Live, sorry, games Windows Live servers to update, la da da, port forwarded to more ports, did all this other stuff, tried to manually update the game, the thing is games Windows Live works, it doesn't work in game, so I can't even get past, and the problem with this game is you can't even play offline because the only way to get into the actual game, like it, it comes up with a little menu and says to enter game, press spacebar to exit game, press backspace. And if you press spacebar, you can't actually get any further because it says please sign into Windows Live. So I, the only thing I've been staring at is literally this welcome screen, which sucks. So I then thought to myself, okay, what can I do now? So I then went a little bit more researching and I found a way to fix it. So I said, this works, and then. Uh, I tried it and it didn't work. I shut down my computer, went to work, came back from work, and what I discovered was when I went to go actually play the game, the game doesn't even load up now. The actual game itself doesn't even start. So this game doesn't even open for me. I can't even get to that menu where it tries to let me sign in. It is just, and it's not the game's fault. It is, uh, sorry, excuse me. It is Games Windows Live's fault. I'm pretty sure it's that, because Games Windows Live, the game worked perfectly until Games Windows Live started throwing a hissy. It is the clunkiest thing you will ever see. Why they did not choose Steam over Games Windows Live, I will never, ever, ever know. Anyway, that's my rant about Games Windows Live. If you are thinking about buying this, then you guys must have, a, like, on the PC, then you guys must have a lot of faith in Games Windows Live, because it is the worst thing in the world. If it's worked for you for, like, every other game, then give it a shot. But right now, it is so buggy on Gotham City Impostors. Like, this is, it's just a complete waste of money. I even emailed Warner Brothers Games Support Studio. I'm waiting to see what their reply back is. But I'm just really frustrated because this game is fantastic. Like, it is such an entertaining game. This is the craziest thing. See this screen? That screen my hands are going... And the screen's going all crazy. That is because there's a game type called Psychic Warfare where you control two points. And if your enemy captures both those points, it sends out like these brain frequency kind of things that tell you, your team, that you guys suck and like it controls your minds so and you can't use your guns and stuff like that. It's just all this crazy stuff. But people say it's a lot like TF2 and that, where it's just like the whole kind of crazy thing going on. But you can do so much crazy shit in this game. A grappling hook to get around, a bat cape thing, you know, fly about, moon boots, roller skates, you name it, they've got it. The weapons are all crazy and cartoony, the graphics are fantastic. It really is such a fun experience. There's nothing wrong about it. Like, the gunplay feels a tad, like, clunky-ish here and there. Apart from that, though, you get used to it, like, in a couple of games, and it is just so fun. But right now, the technical issues that are kind of, you know, putting it in a bad spot, it is such a shame, because to find a game, it takes only five minutes, because I don't have dedicated servers yet, so... The, actually, to be fair, Monolith, the guys that worked on this game, have posted out saying they're trying to fix the dedicated server issue and the connection issue, and they're working really hard on it, which is fantastic. That means they are actually caring about the game they've made, unlike <laughs> Call of Duty. But that means there's going to be like a lot more support with a lot more updates, that kind of stuff. So, when they get all this stuff lined out and Games Windows Live pulls its finger out of its little butthole and actually decides to work, this is going to be one of my favorite games, maybe so far of all year. Like, for 15 bucks, you know, it's pretty good. So, if you guys recommend... Actually, one thing I have heard 
is that there is cross-platforming. So PC players can play with Xbox players. I'm not, I haven't tested this out. Obviously, I can't test it out. But I heard someone say to me, I think it was uh, Will or Zev Harder. He said from TGNXP, you know, check him out. And there is cross-platform gameplay, which would be fantastic. So PC and Xbox can play together, which is awesome. Anyway, guys, everyone enjoyed this commentary, little video, so on and so forth. I just wanted to say to you guys how amazing this game is, and it's such a shame that I can't play it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'm out. Bye! This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.TV.